Yeah, we are working with uh, 10 uh, people in the assembly. Um, they are used to do every machine or able to assemble every machine. We're at Holter CNC Automation, their production facility in Bissem, Germany. It's an amazing place. And the person who's got the job of making it all run smoother is Stefan, you're the plant manager. Correct. How long have you been here? Uh, we have been here for four months right now and uh, we're running three production lines here. All going smoothly, I trust? Uh, mostly, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's great because what you're going to do is have, let us have a quick look around, which is, which is unusual to be actually see a production facility. So it all starts here, the goods in. Yes, of course. Uh, with our goods receiving, all the parts which we are receiving from uh, suppliers nearby um, will be received here and um, stored or brought through the production lines directly. Okay, but keeping it super lean, super efficient, so you could be cost effective. Of course, uh, cost, cost effectiveness is uh, um, one of the major parts we are looking for and uh, also trying to uh, yeah, be clean so everybody can do their job properly. Do it, yep, do it efficient. Now, as we'd expect, some robots, we've got a whole bank of them here and as people expect with Halter Robots, some great components. So these, your Fan these are the latest Fanuc robots. These are the latest Fanuc robots we have from the ID version of Fanuc. So later states we are using for our robot cells. Okay, so they've changed, uh, improved technology, changed the ergonomics? Yeah, exactly. The ergonomics are changed, so we also need to adapt uh, our software according to that, uh, which is done by our PSC and robotics engineers. And uh, yeah, our machines are still running. Absolutely. And all done in-house, so you've got a great team. Yes, we have a great team of engineers and also assembly workers, so it's all done in-house. Okay. Now, over in this section, we can't go and film, I've already been told off, we can't go and film in there. That's a testing centre, so you've got a great range of machines, but each engineer wants a different solution. Yeah, let me put it that way, we have 80% standard cells sold on the market, but uh, depending on the workpiece, we are able to uh, adapt to the customer's needs in terms of grid blades, uh, gripper fingers and also grippers and these we want to test in our test area on the back because we do not want to disturb our production line. Absolutely, okay and when you say the grippers you use industry lead into shunk, shunk grippers? Yes, we are um, purchasing everything from the market so we have no uh, in-house uh, um, machineries um, so we are using chunk for, chunk for the grippers yep. and uh, yeah, Fanuc. Fanuc robots, sick, as sick in terms of the Exactly. So we try to get as much from the market as possible. Okay. The sheet metals are all done or designed by our engineers and we have uh, yeah, suppliers okay. close by. Let's come to those in a minute then. Okay. So what we've got, we've got Speyer in the background who's the MD work, working her team very hard. But here we've got, now this is, you've got three styles of robots and three, three in each style. So this is exactly. the big, is that correct? This is our big cell, so uh, with a payload of 70 kilograms. Um, it is produced stationary because of the weight of the whole system, around about uh, three tons. And um, So it could take a lot of components, but we're not here to sell the products as such, we're here to showcase what you do in here, Stefan, because you, you're okay. the, the plant manager. So that's your, your big, you're getting ready over there. Exactly. What's going along, what's happening along here? Okay, here we see the ready machines on the left side, which are ready for packaging and pickup. And on the right side, we see our testing areas per line. Okay. So here in the latest step, we are doing the factory testing for each machine. There the gripper fingers, the custom customer grid place will be mounted off. And uh, yeah, we make the machines here ready for uh, sending off to the customer. Okay, just clarify, over there you've got the grid plates, that's for universal, and these are the smaller iterations of the compact. Exactly, the compact, as the name it says, uh, is a yeah, smaller product of our uh, premium and big, and has less capacity, but also fits uh, to smaller workshops better than the premium, for example. Okay, so you, you've got this, this sta these stations here. What's happening next along here? Um, Line two and one is uh, for the is, is our, our premium production lines. So we produce uh, in line two our premium universal and line one our premium stacker. Right. Okay. And everybody, I mean, it's very lean. There's not many people here. Yeah, we are working with uh, ten uh, people in the assembly. Um, they are used to do every machine or able to assemble every machine. Um, we are producing in uh, sequences, so we have three production steps. 
uh, where we move our machine forward and we are able to produce a machine in uh, 48 hours. Right, so every 48 hours, machine going out the door? Yeah, counts, counts for the premium. That's what, uh, what we are doing, yeah. Okay, making it nice and simple and efficient. Yes, as, as far as possible, so every material will be um, uh, prepared at the line on wheels so everybody can move it by his own strength and uh, it makes it lean and yeah, the efficient, the most efficient way of doing Absolutely. the work. And then up here in the background, you've got floor zero, one and two. This is all your, your design engineers, your mechanical engineers, your production side of things. Exactly, on the first floor, our production planner and purchasing uh, lady um, doing their job. And on the second floor, we have our design team, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, PLC, robotics and software. Right, all the complicated stuff. All the complicated stuff which uh, makes our uh, system hardware and software wise running. But brings it all together. So ultimately, you can have a robot commission and to an engineer and then we've got one oh just uh this one here is ready ready to be delivered yeah this is uh, ready to be delivered so uh, the only thing which needs to happen here is uh, the packaging which, which is done by an external company so we are only concentrating on, on our core and then the cell is uh, ready to pick up okay then deliver to an engineer when it's on site they pretty much fit any machine tool um, they fit pretty much to every machine tool. We have our interface box, which is the linkage between our machine and the customer's uh, machine tool. And um, yeah, service will be done or installation will be done in uh, one week approximately. Right. So keeping the spindles, keeping the downtime as short as possible. Exactly. Okay, so here all of the production ready to go out and then I think we should really see the final solution. And we've got some guys in the background because we're actually at their, their open house and customers have a three hour slot. So de dedicated time for the guys to actually see the robots they're looking to purchase. So here we have a great example. This one, I'm going to guess universal and the premium, is that correct? That's correct. There so this is our demonstration area where we run uh, for the open house a uh, standard loop where everybody can see how our robot cell is loading and unloading a machine tool. Brilliant. Stefan, great little in insight into your new production facility. Four months young, going strong and geared up to make 250 robots per year. Uh, this is our aim. So uh, we are able to uh, upscale our production uh, right now we are we are working with the day shift, so we are able to upscale to 250 systems, and uh, after that we need to talk about uh, a more more than one shift system. Then, brilliant, Stefan. Great, keep it super lean, super efficient. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.